today I'm here at the Dollar Tree in Angleton, Texas. Let's head in and do some shopping. Variety of these poster markers looks like they're dual tips, purple and pink and turquoise and red and then a blue. They have a chisel tip and a bullet tip. Some Halloween items here. These little gnomes. Little Dracula, it looks like. Maybe Dracula. The little witch and Frankenstein. The black spider. Some creepy skeleton hands. Pick your poison table decor. Kettle corn. This seems to be new. Sweet and salty. It says Psalms 23.4. They always have a scripture on their packaging. This brand is a good brand. These bagel chips are really tasty. Like with tuna fish or chicken salad, that type of thing. I enjoy them. Halloween candy by Mike and Ike. Sour spooky treats. A large bag of the Wise Cheese Doodles. They are baked puffs and you get 4.2 Five ounce. My mother loved potato sticks. Always reminds me of her when I see those. I dare not get these, but I love pecan twirls. If I got these, I would get started on a kick. I couldn't stop. I don't know about y'all, but I get started on something and it takes me a while to get off it. So I dare not buy this. Toy lights up. They make a noise. They flash. I have it in green and in blue. The book that I found, The Meaning of Mariah Carey, incisive, entertaining, and impressively well written. The Global Icon, award winning singer, songer, producer, actress, mother, daughter, sister, storyteller, and artist finally tells the unfiltered story of her life in The Meaning of Mariah Carey. pictures of her childhood. Some of these Kingsford charcoal flavor boosters. Sage, basil, and thyme. They have the cumin and chili, mesquite wood, and they have this one, which I think is new maybe. I don't remember seeing this one. Uh, Memphis barbecue with hickory wood. Garlic, paprika, rosemary, and a hint of sweetness. Breckenridge spicy pickle spears. And they have the kosher style. Quick side dish is these eat regal gourmet rice cilantro and lime. You cook them in the microwave for 90 seconds. Cut a little vent in them. And um, yeah, pretty good. I've not tried these, either one of these actually. This one is the Mexican style rice, but I have tried the Eat Regal Gourmet rice, just not these two. They're good. Old Orchard 100% tomato juice from concentrated with added ingredients. Plates for the kids, you get 10 plates and they got dinosaurs and they have these deep dish plates. You get eight of them for about 25 and then these are also pretty I usually just get the white ones because that's what matches my house, but they have some pretty designs. Hi, sweet friends, and welcome to my channel. Hope you enjoyed that bit of footage that I got there in the store. I actually found quite a few items. This is probably the largest Dollar Tree haul I've had in quite some time. So let's hop right in. I'll share with you what I purchased. We'll start with the foodie finds. I did go ahead and pick up some of these Cheerios. These are the chocolate strawberry limited edition ones. Wanted to give these a go. So I got them. Buck 25 for a big thing of cereal is a good buy. Uh, I bought these Oreos. These are the two count packs. You get four packs. So eight cookies for buck 25. Probably not the best, but I wanted to use these towards a fetch point that I'm trying to get to. So I picked these up. 
Y'all, if y'all haven't tried the chocolate Twinkies, you're missing out. These are a delicious. So I got those. Shared with y'all the Brims Kettle Corn Sweet and Salty. I wanted to give this a go as well. Brims have a lot of different um, items. Potato chips, popcorn, pork rinds, tortilla chips, hot fries, cheese curls, and cheese puffs. So I wanted to give this popcorn a go. So I got that. I got some gum for my purse. The Trident. This is Mint Bliss. You get fourteen six for a buck twenty five. So I picked that one up. And then the last foodie find that I got were the Brackenridge. These are spicy pickle spears. I don't think I've tried these in, and I wanted to give those a go as well. So I got them. The next a few items are paper products. I found these Gla uh, Glad Hasbro Candyland cups. I will take these to work and have them there. You get six of them for a buck 25. These are great for my office for like making a little tuna salad or something of that sort. Can use those little cups. So got that. Also wanted to give these bowls a go. You get 10 of them. They're the ultra paper bowls. I've been using the ultra paper plates and they work out great. So I figured these would work out great as well. Got those. Got these for my daughter to try at her house. These are the parchment papers. Um, and these are great to line your cookie sheets when you're doing any kind of baking. And I think she can get some use out of these. She had been buying the um, non-stick foil. And um, I think she'll get pretty similar results using this. Maybe even at a cheaper price. So that's what I got that for. Uh, another fetch... Um, deal that I was working on. If you're not familiar with Fetch, it is a way to earn extra cash from um, using your receipts. Okay, Fetch is an app that you use. You um, buy your merchandise and then you take a picture in the Fetch app and um, of your receipts and you gather points. And the more points you get, the more rewards you get. I have like 73,000 rewards. So that's like $73 worth of money. You get the money in the form of a gift certificate. They have a multitude of different gift certificates that you can get. And so you try to accumulate points. And they have one um, going right now that is a Glade tall trash bag, a food uh, saver product, and then a black trash bag. So I just need to get the uh, black trash bags and I can complete that deal. They have different deals on different things. They were running one on Oreos, um, just a variety of brands that they partner with. And then if you buy search such and such um, products, you get extra bonus points. And the points are of course worth a dollar amount in a gift card. Also picked up these. These were new to me. Uh, these are the microwave steam bags. You get six of them. These are medium size. Just picked that up as well. These for the car. These uh, facial tissues. They do fit in your cup holder. You get 40 of them and they're three ply. Probably won't put them in my cup holder, but I will definitely put them in the seat next to me and they are perfect. I have a little net um, that attaches around the back of my seat and this is a perfect place to put that in my sunglasses. It just holds them and that way if you step on the brake, all your stuff doesn't go sliding out into the floor. So I really enjoy that little net. Picked up the net at Dirt Cheap years ago and I've been using it ever since. Got some of these silicone scar sheets. I think these are the kind that if you put them on your wound, like the scab builds up on the um, band-aid rather than on your skin and it helps to heal uh, and not leave a scar. So that's why I picked those up. You get four of them for a buck 25. They can be really expensive, those style of band-aids that I'm talking about. And I think this is them. I could be mistaken. We'll see. I don't need it right now, but I thought to put it in the um, band-aid box. 
The only one thing that I got that wasn't a dollar twenty-five is I needed some of these Energizer um, twenty thirty-two batteries for my key fob. One of my car keys, the it won't work. The battery's dead. I got this Supernova um, little tree. I wanted to put this. We we're going on vacation. My car will be parked at the um, car lot for almost two weeks, for right at two weeks. And I just thought, you know what? I'm going to put a new freshener in it when we get out. And um, so I got that one. This one smells really good. I got some more of the Ticonderoga pencils. I had been getting the Ushis, the Disney Ushis, and I needed some more pencils for some of the new ones I got. I had ran out. So I got those. This Sunny Days Noodles, um, a five, five count. Here's what they look like. You just get a whole bunch of noodles in there. It looked like a lot of fun. I have, actually, I'm not going to open this. I may just use this as a Christmas present for somebody, for one of the littles. So I'm not going to open it, but you can see right there, you get just an assortment of noodles to play with. So, got that. Now, this I did get for me, and it is this. And it's just a fidget toy, and I love the sound of that. So, I got it for me. We'll definitely take it to work. $1.25 for a fidget animal. Uh, one of the things that I forgot to share, I left it in this bag because it is the bleach tablets, but I like to drop these in my toilet and I got one for me and a one for my daughter's home. So you get 10 of them. They're just little tablets, original scent. They had some that were linen, just went for the original scent. And I'll probably try to drop one of those in my toilet right before we leave on vacation as well. That way it'll be there. Last two items that I got were some fun new calendars for this year, and it is Sesame Street. So cute. I don't know about y'all, but I learned how to count on Sesame Street. I learned my ABCs, and I learned how to do sign language, um, and I, I grew up watching Sesame Street. I love it. So here it is. My brothers and sisters, my brother and sister were quite a lot older than me. And so, you know, as I was a toddler growing up, whatever, it was just me and my mom. And I started learning all my numbers and my ABCs and everybody was trying to figure out how I had learned that. And um, sure enough, it was from Sesame Street. So, hmm. yeah, eat two cookies, call me in the morning. That's cute. Snuffle size. <laughs> Move your can. That's cute. My youngest daughter loved Elmo. Everything Elmo. All the Elmo movies. And then a Mr. Potato Head. I had a Mr. Potato Head when I was a kid. And I just think it's so cute. Here they are. The cute. This one says, I love you from my head. Potato. Oh, that's cute. Spud genius. Joined. Joined at the roots. I love it. So cute. So these are just fun for crafting and that. That is it, guys. This was a, a pretty good size haul. Like, I haven't been finding much since we had the hurricane. Two of the stores have been closed down. Lake Jackson and Angleton are the only ones that open. I would have expected to be able to find a lot in those stores. But they just haven't had much. So I was glad to find the few things that I did. If you have enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below. Become part of my friends here on YouTube. And I will see each of you in my next video. Bye, guys.